event that I experienced happened at a wood shop as a woodworking apprentice. Oh. See where this is going? <laughs> yeah, no, but it wasn't that pesky table saw that you're all thinking. No, 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 no. Uh, this was a machine called a jointer. Who's here have heard of a jointer? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Um, well, now I call that machine the de jointer. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, do you think less of me now? <laughs> a big pile of wood and I was pushing them through one by one and I felt an immediate sharp pain and before I brought my hand to my face I knew something felt off but I couldn't quite put my finger on it <laughs> <laughs> and then when I did bring my hand to my face my first thought was oh fuck Mike was gonna fire me <laughs> oh. so I covered my hand I ran from the shop to Mike's office and I was already in shock because all I could say was Michael something happened <laughs> he took one look at me and he said Rumi you are cut off from using the machine <laughs> no he covered my hand and drove me straight to the ER and I've been coming up with this shit since the ER I've been dealing with this <laughs> through humor since it happened I'm in the ER in the waiting room you know where you like are waiting to go see a surgeon or doctor or whatever and there's people around and I'm just sitting there with my bloody, elevated hand, <laughs> smiling because now I'm on narcotics. <laughs> and everyone's like, are you all right? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, <laughs> now I'm going to be all left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually learned how to do quite a lot of things with my left hand. Like, you try this. I have learned how to wipe my ass with my left hand brush my teeth, start my car, yeah. Uh, but I'm still short-handed in a lot of ways, so, <laughs> so I have yet to return to work. Um, you see, being an amputee is actually a blessing and a curse. Because on one hand, I have all my fingers. Oh. And on the other hand, I don't. <laughs> yeah, um, it, can, it can be really hard. It was obviously a traumatic event. Um, it was really hard for a couple of weeks, and so I started a local support group. You know, everybody needs support. I knew there'd be other people like me who just needed some love. Um, but we're still new. We've only had a couple meetings. In fact, we don't have a name yet. We're just stumped. <laughs> yeah. But, but you should see what we all can do without all of our appendages. I mean, you probably saw this, and you're like, she can't do that without all her fingers. <laughs> There's no way. I know, there is no way, but prosthetics these days are high tech. Watch this. One moment. I know you can't tell, but this is one. Here you go. Here you go. One <laughs> all right, let me just get balanced here. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the roll of Ola. Okay. I know, you're like, how's she gonna do that? <laughs>
<laughs> they say that's not coming back. Oh. Um, and as a lesbian, oh. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like, <laughs> what if my future girlfriend has deep pockets? <laughs> you know, the keys are down there, arms are full of groceries, and she's like, "Where are we help?" And it's just, it's just something else I have to do learn how to do with my left hand again. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I know my hand looks like shit, but I'd still give it a three out of five. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So I can't point any fingers, obviously, but some of you all here have been great audience members. <laughs> now, um, if you'll excuse me, I heard there's an arms dealer in the house, and I'm going to ask him about a second hand store. You know? <laughs>